Sunday night. You know what that means. No matter what else is going on, it's Sunday night. <laughs> so we're talking rolling, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Now, you saw the topic. Uh, this might be somewhat controversial, but, you know, I want to get into it. I want to talk about it. Wow, this is never cool. Never buy a used watch. Uh, never buy a used Rolex, right? So for a while, I've been thinking about uh, getting like, uh, I see a lot of people with this, uh, jewelers, they have this, uh, professional watch guys, they have this, it's like a loop, a jeweler's loop, right? So what happens is you get it and you can look into your watch and people say, all right, what do you want to do that for? But check this out. You can read the serial numbers on your watch. You can check out the rehaul. I mean, it's pretty cool, actually. You can see, like, complete different dimensions of the watch. It's actually pretty cool. And check this out. Check this out. This one is pretty cool. I got it off of Amazon. I don't know. It's like five, six bucks or whatever it was. But uh, it has these two lights on the bottom. And uh, what they do is... You switch it to one side, and that's like a uh, infrared, ultraviolet, I'm sorry, ultraviolet light. They said uh, that's to detect counterfeit money. I don't, I don't know too much about that. If anybody knows about it, leave it in the comments below. Tell me about it, because I don't know about it. But the other side is cool. Look, it has a light. And people will say, hey, why, if, if you're in a lighted room, why do you need a light? Check this out. So, this is a 2019 Landlord Bluesy, Rolex Landlord Bluesy. And when you look at it with the naked eye or with the loop, now I'm looking at the 6 o'clock, at the 6, and all I'm seeing is Swiss made. Right? Right under the baton, I'm seeing Swiss made. Now, I've heard about this before, but I've never actually seen it, so I thought it really didn't apply to me. But when you turn on the light on this loop, and you look again at the six o'clock, you actually see a crown etched in the sapphire it's crazy because i've heard of i've heard about that crown before but i've never seen it and actually with this loop you're able to see it with the light actually just with the loop i don't see it until i turn on the light so yeah that's pretty cool and it actually activated the loom on the bottom <laughs> so yeah uh that's pretty cool so it's all metal construction loop. Came in this little case. Uh, not too crazy about the case, but this is cool. I throw this in my pocket. I'm going out, talk watches with uh, my buddy or whatever. So I picked this up on Amazon. You know, you want to get yourself one, I'll leave the link below the exact one I got. Uh, it's like five, six bucks, ten bucks, whatever it was. But I think it's pretty cool. But, uh... Yeah, but anyway, it's Sunday night. So we're talking Rolex, right? Yeah, so let's get to it. Cheers, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to have you back. I'm glad to be back, and it's good to have you back. Cheers, everybody. Now, I'm watching the video, Never Buy a Used Rolex. At the end... I opened it up. I said I want to get in the discussion. And a lot of people, a lot of people had comments about it. Uh, it there was a lot of comments left. You know, so the discussion is wide open. Uh, there's a lot of pros and a lot of, and a lot of you know, cons. A lot of yeses and a lot of nays. So tonight, tonight, we're going to get into it. Uh, you know, let me take off this jacket and we'll get started. Hold on a second.
All right, yeah, let's get comfortable because we're going to get into it. All right, so should I buy a Rolex? Should I buy a used Rolex? Now, this is the continuation from the last video, never buy a used Rolex. We're going to get into some of the comments now. I'm not gonna mention names, so we're gonna leave the names out of it. We're just gonna get to the comments and lower this. All right. First comment, right off the bat, would never buy a Rolex from anyone but an authorized dealer. All right. This video's actually got 126 likes and 62 dislikes. All right, so the likes have it. The likes have it right now. Uh, next one. Uh, 100, one, 1 million percent, I agree with you. Enough said, all right. Next one. You are 100% right, my friend. There is life experience tattooed on everyone's watch. What is your take on new Rolex from Gray? Maybe I just have another video topic. All right, yeah, maybe, maybe. That might be a good video. Next one. This is a really, really deep video, wow. All right, good comments, good comments, all of them so far. Uh, next, I agree to a certain point, but I've also been the person who's only bought, <coughs> excuse me, vintage Rolex over the years. I've had Rolexes that are 25 years old, ones that are 50 years old. I like the nostalgia of it. I like to think what this watch has seen over the decades. Wow, 50 years old. He must have a hell of a collection. I would love to, to uh, see that collection. I'm just gonna say, D, D, if you're watching, please uh, email me and send me some pictures of your collection. Would love to uh, get into it with you. All right, uh, next one, interesting point. Wasn't sure where you were going with the topic. When you're buying anything firsthand, you sh you're also buying that moment in time. I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. Um, someone else had left a comment that I read that, uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll get to it, but he said that uh, the history, your watch's history should start with you. And that, you know, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, you, 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 you've worked hard and you've achieved that moment in time where you're reaching for the crown. You're going for the crown now and you want to, you know, you want a used crown? No. No, you want your, your crown brand, brand new, my brother. You put that on your head. You put that in, you know, metaphorically, of course, in today's words, you put that on your wrist and you, you, you know, it's nothing better. It's nothing better. All right, let's move on. Uh, interesting. I shall disinfect, polish, and take my church to have the Rolex blessed if I decide to do so. Great video. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, hey, Mikey, Mikey, my friend Mikey. You know, one of my four quarters. We always talk about him here on the channel. Uh, I must say, Prophet, Mikey is a smart guy. I agree, you can't buy someone else's problems. You know, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, okay, next. I agree, anything like jewelry or watches should be bought brand new. It's a personal thing and purchased because you have achieved great things. The experience in an AD is something special. Love the landlord watch, all the best. <laughs> all right, uh, Barry, Barry, I see you. I, I gotta mention your name, Barry, Barry. I see you, brother, thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you for your love of the landlord watch. This is uh, my favorite watch as well. Uh, you know, the landlord, solid gold, or the uh, two-tone landlord bluesy. Uh, my absolute favorite watches. Absolute favorite watches to me, uh, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, the best, the best watch that uh, money can buy. You know, absolutely hands down, the most. Yeah, th that's a whole nother video. Let's move on. All right, the machine. Oh, the machine. 
Sorry. Well, the machine. He's my buddy, big friend to the show here. He's been with me from the from the very beginning. Let me lower this. In there. Uh, uh, the machine says, "Prophet, how are you doing, my man? Uh, thank you for that machine. I appreciate it. He's uh, machine is always looking out for me. He's always worrying about me. He's been riding uh, with me on this channel from the very start. What's up, machine? I'm good. Uh, my family's good. Thanks for asking. I hope you and the family are doing well. And uh, yeah, bro, we're back. You know, we're back making videos. The machine's got an awesome collection itself. Uh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm good. Hope all is safe with you. All right, let's move on. Uh, Barry, we read his. Next one. All right. Never buy used. You never know what the watch has been through. People are disgusting. I mean, that is... Uh, that's self-explanatory right there. You know what I mean? Uh, what more can I say about that? So, so far, there's a lot of comments agreeing with me with the never buy use. All right? So, that's so far. Next one. Uh, suggestion. Oh, this guy's a friend to the show. He, uh, he always comments. Uh, suggestion to update title never buy a used Rolex without knowing its history yeah I mentioned that I mentioned that in the last video um, never buy a used Rolex we talked about that and I said the only the caveat to never buying a used Rolex is if you know the history of that watch um, it might be all right to get you know, I'll include that video at the end of this one. If you haven't checked that one out, uh, it's important that you go back, especially after watching this video, you go back and you see that video. Or if you've seen it, maybe re-watch it and then watch this one, like back to back, and then tell me what you think. All right, so let's move on. Next one, you're going to make Archie's head explode, said never buying used. I love to buy direct from the AD, but they're never available. I need the profit New, the profit New York hookup. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, cheers to that, buddy. I hear you, man. Uh, Rolex, uh, they say is open back, Sweden. They say uh, Geneva's back open up, so, you know. The ADs here in New York, uh, I think, are part of phase one of the uh, reopening. So maybe June 1st, maybe June 1st, uh, there's, you know, all I can say to that is keep checking with your ADs. Um, they have old stock. They're probably going to get a new shipment when they reopen or the week immediately after reopening. And uh, hey, you never know. You have a relationship with your AD? You, you might get that call, my friend, or you just might, you know, be lucky enough to make that call and they say, yeah, Prophet, come on in. You know, I, I got the James Cameron for you or whatever the case is. <clears throat> All right, so let's move on. Uh, that will be, okay, next one. I agree with you, Prophet. I have heard so many horror stories of people who brought used and found out there's replacement Chinese parts in the movement. When you're spending this sort of money, I would rather wait and maybe pay a little more than risk having a watch that's not 100%. You see, this is the type of disgusting, disgusting stories that, you know, you just don't want any parts of. Um, that's why I'm not really into like the vintage market or, 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 or what have you, because you know, you, you go back 80s, 70s, whatever type of watch, 60s even. Um, there might not be parts available any longer for these, for these type of watches. And, you know, you go to one of these gray market dealers and they can't get parts from Rolex. You understand? Unless they give them the, it's a whole thing. So they'll, they might, you know, they want to sell the watch, they might replace it with parts from something else. 
replace it from a what you you don't you never know. And I've heard horror stories about uh, a guy had a watch, and he was never really able to close the back. The back never really fit on properly, and he always thought for years all these different uh, watchmakers he sent the watch to they could never get the back on right and he for many years he thought that the uh that the back was wrong that he bought it you know he bought it in new york city downtown in the diamond district and everybody was telling him the back was wrong you need to change the back the back is wrong he spoke to me about it i advised him to take it over to rolex <coughs> rolex headquarters here in the city Uh, they checked it out. Their watchmakers checked it out. And they actually found out that it, the back, it wasn't the back that was wrong at all. It was he had replacement parts inside of the watch that wasn't even from that model of watch. So they didn't fit properly. So the back never dropped in. 100% correct. So, um, you know, that's a horror story that, you know, he... There was a lot of money spent, there was a lot of headache, a lot of back and forth. And I'm telling you, for me, it's just not worth it. All right, let's go on. Uh, next one, we read that. Okay, next one. My pref is also new, but I can understand if you don't have the means, then a used Rolex is better than no, Ro no Rolex. All right, I mean, hey, I feel you on that. Let me pour a little sun because I feel you on that, brother. All right, next one. You're one of the guys I look forward to seeing, buddy. Businessman that loves watches and understands the journey to land that new watch. My kind of friend. All right. Roger, I'm going to mention your name. Roger Alvarado. Here's to you, brother. Thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you for being part of the channel. I appreciate you, my friend. All right, next one. Man, I really love this channel. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Uh, next one. I see your lifestyle hasn't changed much. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, I mean, you know. Uh, Want to talk about that one? Let's see. Um, well, you know. We've had to shut down. Uh... We've had to shut down a couple of my retail businesses, um, but you know, thank God, thank God, I've, I've, uh, you know, I've been able to pay my employees. We've never, we've never missed a week of payment. I've been able to pay all my investors, and I've been able to pay all my banks. So, if that's what you mean about my lifestyle hasn't changed, then. Uh, you're pretty right. Uh, we haven't missed one payment uh, to the banks or I haven't missed uh, one pay period uh, for my employees. So that's uh, been pretty good so far. So yeah, we've been blessed. We've been blessed. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. So, oh man, they knocked me off. Hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me just mute this commercial. All right, where were we? Uh, uh, man, I really loved it. Okay, I see your lifestyle. Okay, we read that one. Okay, next one. Dude, I agree with you 100%. There's a lot of things I want, but just like most people, I can't afford it. Therefore, when I make a purchase, it's an absolute splurge, a one-time deal, meaning I want no regrets later. I don't want to say later as I look at my wrist that I settled for less or someone else's possible misfortune on my wrist. Amen. Yeah, if someone else doesn't mind, it's all good for I won't knock it. I hear you, brother. I hear you. And you respect, you know, other people's feelings. That's all right. But um, again, when you reach for that crown... It's a moment in time. It's a moment in time. 
All right, let's move on. Awesome, bro. Love the channel. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Next one. On a similar note, I have bought two watches, 10 and 20 years old from the original owners. All right. Both older guys in retirement with interesting lives. We shared similar stories and the transactions in person and both lasting hours. Bonded me to the watches as soon as I got them. Not exactly what Prophet is saying, but watches carry energy can work for good too. Great topic. Exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. Kudos to you, my friend. Shout out to you, my friend. Uh, I'm going to mention your name. Dad, can I borrow the watch? Shout out to you, my friend. Good. Thank you for being part of the channel. Cheers to you. Uh, let's move on. Uh, next one. I agree 100%. I always buy my Rolexes new, never pre-owned. All right. All right, so we're getting a lot of agrees. So far, we're getting a lot of agrees, a lot of never buy pre-owned, never buy used Rolex. So far, all the comments are never buy used Rolex. All right, let's move on. Uh, skip this stupid thing here. Give me one second. All right, there we go. We can put a little volume on that. All right, so where were we? I see your lifestyle hasn't changed much. All right, we cover that one. What's up, everybody? I'm your All right, I agree. Next one. Uh, okay, so what if you just get the watch blessed? <laughs> All right, hey, amen. All right, next one. Oh, this is actually a lady. Hmm. Pretty woman. All right. Welcome, welcome to the channel, Messi. I completely agree, Richard. Words of wisdom, my friend. <laughs> All right. All right. Good to have you. Good to have you with us. Good to have you with us, Missy. All right. Next one. All right. Prof, you on point most times, but you're wrong on this one. My first Rolex was a used DJ, was for 3500 from authorized dealer, and the new DJ was 6 k now, when I got the money to buy new, I did so, but I wanted a Rolex over a new Seiko or Hamilton. <sighs> buy what you can afford. You can hate on a man who can't afford brand new Rolex on the first rip. Oh, you can't hate, okay. All right. Also, also, you talk about the money you can make from selling a Rolex. Also, you talk about the money you can make from selling a Rolex, but you're saying don't buy used. Uh, no, I've never talked about selling a Rolex. That's another channel, friend. But anyway, uh, that like buying real estate and telling people not to rent homes that aren't brand new since you don't know the history of the house. This means everything you buy is new. That's a serious contradiction. I still enjoy your videos. All right, so, all right, we 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 got the first uh, disagree. Okay, I I see your point. I see your point, but um, I see your point. Now, just to speak to that. Renting a house that's new isn't oh that's always new isn't realistic because number one uh, God isn't making any more land uh, that's uh, that's just number one and uh, you know what let's come back to that let's come back to this one. Let's come back to that. But good comment, though. Thank you. Thank you for the comment. Next. Uh, all right. Uh, couldn't agree more, brother. All right. I wanted... I waited and saved for my Oyster Perpetual. Walked into Torno and saved it the moment. And I envisioned for years. Yeah, they know how to treat you in Torno. Uh, at least in the city, anyway. They know how to treat you. Uh, spiritual, like you said. For me, anyway. Uh, I've never forget the experience that day working towards the two-tone landlord sub. Now is my retirement gift. All right, all right. Great watch. Best pound for pound watch, dollar for dollar. 
Uh, having goals and working to attain them without shortcuts. The old school way. Keep up the great videos, Prophet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, my friend. Thank you for that, my friend. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, here's the thing about buying a used used watch. I mean, I agree what the other gentleman said about, you know, a used Rolex is better than no Rolex. You know, I hear you what you're saying, but again, again, uh, When it's your turn, when it's your turn, when it's your turn, when your chance, your time up at bat for you to reach for that crown, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna reach for somebody's watch that, that he sold? I'm sorry, I, I just, you know, I can't, I can't agree with that. I can't get on board with that. I, you know, I just can't. You know, I just can't. All right, so let's go back. Uh, hmm, all right. Hmm, good topic, Prophet. Love your perspective on things. I personally have only brought new from AD, but perhaps I could entertain a used watch, but not so keen via a secondhand dealer. I agree, it's a bit like buying a used car. You just don't know its true history. Unless you buy to flip them, then you wouldn't care as much. Yeah, we, we covered that. Uh, interesting to do a follow-up video on this. Now back to <laughs> watching obscure watch shops. All right, all right. I see you. Uh, next one. Oh, I think this guy left a comment already. All right, he left another comment. Thanks for this after I spent 20K on my used day date. <laughs> hey, that's a great watch. Uh, I, I got a day date too, so. Uh, next. Uh, Hey, I've gotten a few nice Rolexes used and near or vintage. Some were from the original owner and well-loved and cared for, but I agree with you to a point. Love seeing your videos and would enjoy grabbing a cigar or dinner the next time I'm in New York. All right, all right, Robert, Robert, I see you. And uh, yeah, so next time you're in New York, send me an email. And uh, sure, we'll get together, why not? Cheers to you, Robert. This goes out to anybody. Anybody that's in New York, you want to grab a cigar, a quick drink with your boy Profit, you know, let me know. If I'm in town, if I'm available, we'd love to get together and just talk watches with anybody from the channel. All right, moving on. Oh, here it is. Here is the uh, comment I was talking about. History of that watch should start with you. Uh, hey, that's all I'm saying. I that's all I'm saying. All right, let's move on. Uh... Totally agree with the energy. Shame how so many people only believe when they see it. See it, rather than believe and you will see it. Priceless advice, sir. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you for being part of the channel. Uh, next one. Ha ha ha. Nice joke. They'll never be available at the AD. What are you expecting? All right. Um. Now, that never be available at the AD is nonsense, uh, you know. Is it easy to get a watch you want from the AD? No, but, you know, like in life, anything worth getting in life is not easy to get. Uh, if it's easy to get, it's probably worthless, you know. Uh, you you persist and you get any anything you want from your AD. Build a relationship, uh, become a pest if you have to, but... Uh, you know, like anything else in life, nothing nothing good is easy. So, you know, and what am I expecting? I'll tell you what I'm expecting. When you're, when the Rolex ADs reopen, when they open up again, I expect that they're going to bring everything from the back out. They're going to call all their, all their VIPs to come in if they haven't been in contact and texting with them already. And a week or two, possibly two weeks, after they open those doors again, they're going to get a big shipment from uh, Rolex uh, with uh, with all the hard-to-get sports models. Um, that people say are impossible to get. The people that 
that are, are going to be in the front of that wave are people that build good relationship with their ADs or <clears throat> people that are able to buy a gold piece and a steel piece together. And they will have first crack at every watch that comes in that's available. Again, people with tight relationships with the AD or people willing to buy a solid gold piece and a steel piece together. We'll have dibs on any watch that comes in. And, you know, the, all the sports models are, are coming in because there haven't been deliveries in, what, three months? So, you know, your AD gets a delivery every month. So you're talking about three to four deliveries are going to come in in one shot. Every watch you can you want is going to be in that delivery. Trust me when I tell you that. Now, let's move on. Uh, all right. <laughs> next, okay, next one. It's true to a certain extent. I have good memories with my Rolex. My first so-called expensive watch is an Ebel. Ugh, Ebel. The battery died and we were in a lockdown because I had bad memories with that watch. I wouldn't care if the battery oil leaked. Trust me, I treasure all my expensive stuff. All right. Uh, I hear you on that, brother. A uh, quick little note for the Ebel. It's funny. Uh, one of my favorite shows of all time was Miami Vice. And if you follow Miami, the original Miami Vice, Tubbs and Crockett, Don Johnson and uh, Philip Michael Thomas. Um, if you follow the original uh, Miami Vice, I've seen every episode. If you follow the original Miami Vice, they... Uh, actually, I might make a video on this, but anyway, to cover it real quick, um, in the first couple of episodes, they had Crockett wearing like a fake day date, a fake president. And then uh, following episodes, they had him with a, a fake white face Daytona, which actually I found out recently that uh, it wasn't even a uh, Daytona. It just looked like a Daytona. It was actually an Ebo, an Ebo watch. So, uh, yeah, I don't understand why they couldn't just get him a real Rolex or, or, or you know, because it was, it was purported to be a Rolex. Um, or, you know, he probably couldn't just wear watches from his collection. I don't know if Don Johnson was a watchman at all, but, you know, a rich guy, you know. So, I don't know. I don't know why they had to have fake watches on the show. But anyway, that's a quick little fun fact. Uh, yeah, his uh, his uh, Daytona, his gold Daytona, uh, white dial on the show was actually an evil <laughs> for those that... Uh, for those that don't know. All right, let's move on. Uh, Rico, I don't know if you knew that. Rico, I see you. Rico Z, I see you. Uh, I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you know that. Uh, me and Rico go back and forth for buying my Miami Vice. He is probably the number one Miami Vice fan. Uh, so, he, well, he probably knew that. So, Rico, I see you. If, if you're watching this video and you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, all right, a very interesting perspective, Prophet, and I'm glad I watched. I've been in the position of having to sell both my Oyster Perpetual and Submariner because I was experiencing a tumultuous time in my life. I've been there. I've been there. Uh, I've been there. Let's just call you C. I've been there, C. I've been there. I feel you on that, my brother. Uh, one of the major takeaways for me from this video will be relationship and patience. Moreover, value, price points, and listening. I often overthink that aspect of relationship with things versus people. I question the energy of an inanimate object in the face of a human mind energy. I look forward to additional discussion and perspective on this topic. All right, see, I, I hear you. Yeah, obviously, this guy, this man is an intellectual, and he's a deep thinker, and... Uh, you know, as am I, um, you know, I've, if, to me with these, like I said, with these watches, they, to me, they're not just, you know, they're not just watches, they're spiritual things. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go into like previous videos, but again, we are ordained. Just, uh, just believe that. 
you know, us Rolex lovers are ordained. I'll leave that video at the end of this one if you want to check that one out. All right. Rolex people, we are the chosen people. We know that. We know that. And that's the truth. Let's move on. Next one, agreed is a is like a spiritual relationship. Time is money and sometimes has more value. You've achieved a milestone and get the crown. Obviously, Jesus, for you know, this is exactly what I'm saying. I was just saying when you reach that crown, you know, I was just saying that. Uh, and this man is saying the same thing, you know. Uh, yeah, I see. I hope you don't mind me mentioning your name, but Neil, Neil, you, you, you exactly, you exactly right, my friend. You are exactly right, and I uh, thank you for being part of the channel, Neil. I appreciate you. All right, let's move on. Uh, I, uh, this is obviously some clown. Uh, I bought my used Rolex at a market in Hong Kong. I paid two hundred fifty dollars. I hope I didn't overpay. Strange though, it doesn't keep time like my Submariner. All right, well, at least he knows the Submariner, a.k.a. the Landlord Watch, is pound for pound, dollar for dollar, the best watch in the world. Everybody knows that. All right, let's move on. Uh, so true, bro. I agree with you. It's all energy, and there's positive and negative energy. So beware from all the things that become involved with bad energy. Yes, sir. Next. Uh, I brought a used date just from an AD. I love my watch. No one else has to wear it, and no one else will ever know it's pre-owned. But you know. You know. You know. And when somebody looks at you funny, you're going to look at them, and you're going to know that they know. Let's move on. Uh, I have two Rolex. I don't want to lose this video. Let me just rewind it a little bit. Okay. All right, I gotta scroll back down. Give me a second. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay. All right. Uh, was it this one? Unless you can do energy manipulation, the energy cannot be destroyed, but it can be manipulated to do something else. Quantum physics. All right. Uh, I don't know if that's a... Uh, if that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'm not sure on that one. Maybe, maybe if this was your comment, maybe you could uh, elaborate on that for us. Break that down for us. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Richard, try some Woodward Reserve Bourbon. You will love it, brother. All right. Maybe next time we'll try that out. But for right now, this is what we're on. All right, next one. Uh, cool with me leaves me more opportunities to give those pre-loved babies a new home. Everyone needs a second chance, even a Rolex watch. All right. Okay. You know, hey. Strays need love too, you know, but uh, it's just, you know, all right. All right, next one. You give me a hookup at an AD that will sell to me, I will buy new. Until then, gray market is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying don't buy at the gray market. I'm not saying that. If you can get a brand new watch at the gray market, you know, for a price that you're comfortable paying, then it's a brand new watch, you know. I'm saying don't buy any watch with a history on it before yours. Like my buddy here said, uh, that watch history should begin with you. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's move on. Uh, totally agree, all right. So so far we're getting a lot of thumbs up. We There, there might have been like two or three uh, thumbs down, but so it, it, it would appear that some of these people that click thumbs down or whatever, they didn't leave a comment. So what that tells me is, they just got on here, wanted to click thumbs down or whatever, 
Okay, but you clicking thumbs down, but what's your point? You know, you know, let's talk about it. Can you expound on your point? What are you saying? And so far, it seems to me that everybody that agreed with me, that clicked thumbs up or whatever, you know, wants to talk about their point, wants to say why they feel that way. And you see, that, that is, you know, you're clicking thumbs down and you don't tell me why you click thumbs down. That's to me is ingenuous, you know, disingenuous. That's, that's disingenuous. Why don't you agree with what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. Now, when you agree with me and you tell me why you agree with me, you know, that's, that, that, that's man like, you know, that's what men do. You understand? And I agree with that. And even the young lady that got on here and, uh, and, 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 you know, spoke her mind, told me why she felt how she felt. And we appreciate that. All right. So let's move on. You know, you, 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 uh, you want to come on, you, you, you come on, you watch a video, whatever, you click thumbs down behind your computer and you don't talk about it. You don't explain, you know, you don't, you don't elaborate. You don't tell me why that you, you take your stand. I, you know, that's a coward. You know, that's a, to me, that's a coward's approach, you know? Okay. You want to, you don't agree. All right, let's talk about it. Why don't you agree? But you just want to throw a rock and hide your hand. Nah, uh, you're a coward. You're a coward. So I, I don't even hear you and I don't, I don't see you and I don't hear you. So let's move on. Uh, totally agree. All right. Here's to you. 14 year old Glenn Fittich. Nice. <laughs> Actually, that's what I'm drinking now. <laughs> there you go. Who's that? My buddy, George. George has been riding with me. There you go. Cheers to you, George. All right. Nice. Uh, next one. You spitting straight up truth. Something to ponder. Again, you see, you get comment after comment of people that agree with what I'm saying. So again, the people that, that click thumbs up, they want to talk about it. And everybody that clicked thumbs down here, there's only been like two or three uh, people that disagree with me. Uh, but, you know, there's what, 50 something uh, thumbs down. So where are you? Where are all, all the people that disagree with us? You know, no, they're hiding. They're hiding somewhere. You know, through a rock, hide their hand, you know. Cowards, cowards is what you are. You know, you can't come on here and you can't, you know, right or wrong, you know. Tell me what, tell me how you feel. What are you talking about? You know, tell me how, tell me how and why you feel how you do. Let's talk about it. This is what this is for. I opened up the discussion. I want to talk about it. Make me see what you feel. Make me see your point and we can just talk about it. But if you want to just, ah, and you know, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's move on. Uh... To me, uh, you spin in the shoe. Okay, we spoke. To me, a watch is such a personal item. I have never bought one used. Okay. I also don't buy used underwear. <laughs> I love that many youngsters, hipsters out there who obsess over older five digit references, uh, then they want a Berthier watch. Sigh. Uh, like a Berthier watch has some mystical aura, yet never pay attention to who wore it doing God knows what while wearing it. I also don't trust how the old owner treated it, including servicing with potential inferior parts. We just spoke about that. Uh, I've worn Rolex for over 40 years. So this is a veteran. This is a Rolex veteran knows what he's talking about. Let's continue. Uh, I've worn Rolex for over 40 years and the new stuff is better than ever. The older bracelets are junk in comparison. Uh, what he's talking about is uh, the new, the solid end links, you know. Um, there is a new Rolex for everyone. A simple Oyster Perpetual get you in the door, get you in the game. Oyster Perpetual, Air King, you know, get you right in the game. Brand new. Uh, Oyster Perpetual Explorer, Explorer, another one, get you in the game. Explorer, one, great watch, great watch. Uh, date just to date date. I bought the steel white ceramic Daytona, love that watch, uh, with a Pepsi GMT. 
I got the Pepsi. Uh, because I like the look so well, I just wanted to own it. After bringing them home, they just weren't me because I'm older now, I guess. So I gave them to my kid. It's crazy that uh, my Pepsi, uh, I actually gave it to my daughter as a, uh, as, as a housewarming gift. Um, she loved the watch and, uh, you know, she just got a new place. They moved to Jersey. She just got a new place. Uh, I didn't know what to get her. She, 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 she just said, ah, give me whatever you want. But she's always made, uh, you know, made gesturings toward the watch that she loved the watch. And it was her when I, hers when I passed anyway. Uh, and I got this big ugly scratch on the bottom or whatever, but, uh, you know, so I decided to, and uh, Cookie had a, something to do with it too. She just said, hey, why don't you just give her the watch? So, um, actually, I have to mention you, brother, MRG. We, 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 we have something in common. We have a lot in common right there because uh, my daughter now has my pet, her Pepsi. It's her Pepsi. So yeah, it's still in the family, but yeah. I also gave my watch to my kid. Um, all right. I only buy new from AD like I only watch Profit at 5 a.m. <laughs> Thanks and be well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> MRD, uh, 1911. I, you know, hey, bro, you know, sorry. Sometimes, you know, work gets in the way or I'm out or whatever. But, you know, I, I, I know I got to be more consistent with these videos. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. But... Um, I really enjoy making these videos. I really love Rolex watches. I, 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 I'm really glad that, uh, that the watch community, you guys, everybody, uh, accepted me and allowed, allowed me into, into, into the watch community. I mean, my whole life I grew up, uh, just loving Rolex, knowing that, uh, I mean, wishing that one day. One day I'll, I'll be able to j buy just one Rolex. Now I have a, you know, like somewhat of a of a mini collection, and there's guys, big watch stars, big, you know, YouTube stars, watch YouTubers. They mention me in their videos and stuff. Uh, you know, Archie Luck, you know, Archie Luxury, uh, Rich Buddy. I mean, all, Bud the Stud. These people, these big watch guys. You know, they mention me in their videos, and they've allowed me to be part of the community, community and you know, I'm really appreciative and I'm also appreciative that I actually have, you know, a nice little collection and that I was able to gift my daughter with a beautiful watch, uh, you know, uh, yeah, watch collecting has done a, a lot for me, uh, you know, I, you know, I mean, you can't collect everything, right? Uh, like some people, they collect sneakers, they collect sunglasses, they collect, uh, Cigars, they can like some people collect Zippo lighters, some people collect knives. I mean, people collect art, art, whatever it is, you know, you can't collect. Some people collect cars, uh, some people collect fine wine. I mean, you can't collect everything, but if you can, if you want to collect something and you're looking for a hobby and, uh, you want to collect something that's going to bring you a lot of joy, countless hours of joy, countless hours of uh, information that you can just, 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 just really get into and find out the inner workings, movements, when year this that, and you know, watch hobbing is watch watch collecting is an awesome hobby, I think, and it's uh, to me it's 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 spiritual art, you know. You know, it's like you put the Sistine Chapel on your wrist. You walk around and you talk about it. And, uh, you know, I just love it. And uh, and to you, MRG1911, you know, you talk about, you know, you never bought a used watch. You've been collecting watches for 30, 40 years. You know, amen, brother. I mean, hey, look. If you want to buy a watch... You know, I don't want to disrespect anybody, but I want to tell you, get, you want to buy a Rolex, of course. You want to strive. You want to achieve something good in your life. 
you want you want to get to Rolex, of course, of course, you want to buy Rolex, but you don't want to buy a watch, you know, that for the last four years somebody's been jagging off in. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you want a brand new watch, man. You know, don't buy a used watch. Buy a brand new Rolex. And uh, for the guys that are out there buying used watches, don't <laughs> don't 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 buy this uh, watch loop. This jeweler's loop that I that I, that I spoke about earlier because uh, <laughs> you might see something that you don't want to see. <laughs> I'm your host, Richard Profit. This is the Profit Realty Group channel. Thank you for everybody that jumped in, and uh, you know, thank you for everybody that jumped in, talked about you know uh, their watch experience, what they feel, their opinion, and uh, shout out to all my Rolex lovers, man. Um, you know, this is a trying time. Everybody's going through something, but my Rolex, my Rolex lovers, my true Rolex lovers are protected. We are protected out there. We are ordained, my brothers, my brothers and sisters. We are protected out there. Make sure your family is safe. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you agree with what some of, some of what was said here tonight, or if you, you were one of the comments that we touched on or that we spoke about please leave another comment and uh maybe we'll talk about it next week and uh and another thing if you have any experience please because this is my first one i don't know too much about it if you have any experience with a watch loop uh leave a comment below tell me about it uh, i already know the white light i like the white light white light a lot because i was able to actually see the crown uh for the first time in the landlord watch but the uh the ultraviolet light, they said that's for, for like reading money or whatever. I don't know what that's about. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, like, how are you? Is there something you're supposed to do? Or? Oh, I mean, I, I can get a good look at at Benjamin Franklin, but what am I supposed to do with the ultraviolet light? I, if you know what to do with it, uh, please let me know and uh, leave a comment below. And uh, Or if you have any experience with a watch loop, a, a jeweler's loop, a dealer's loop, uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me know below and we'll talk about it. If you're interested in picking up this one, it's all metal construction. It's pretty cool. Came with this little case, this little plastic case. I mean, the case makes it a little bulky, so I kind of carry it without the case. I've carried it in my pocket. I went to my buddy. I showed it to my buddy. If you're interested in picking it up, I'll leave the uh, the link below. I got it on Amazon. I got Prime, so it was here like... Pff. I got it in two days. Uh, I don't know. It was five bucks, six bucks maybe. I mean, it's pretty cool. If you want it, I'll leave the link. You can pick it up. Uh if you get it, we'll talk about it next week. If you figure out what the ultraviolet light is for, uh, let me know. I'm your host, Richard Profit. This is a Profit Realty Group channel. And uh, thanks for watching, brother. And sister, I'll see you next week. <laughs>